What I want to show you here is my Ken Stone Cat Girl Synth Quad Gate Sequencer. We'll feed it a clock signal from my 16-step MFOS sequencer. What this is is a four-channel gate sequencer, and you can see here channels A, B, C, and D. And there are four separate outputs that have both pulse and gate. What we're going to start with here is the pulse outputs, which are half the length of the clock signal. You'll notice later when we show the gate outputs, the gate outputs are the full length of the clock signal. So we've got very short blip, 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 blip. As you can see here, two steps in a row sent to the gate output become one long note, which allows you to create pulsy notes. It allows you to also create longer held gate notes, and you can imagine the sequencing capability of this is quite powerful. Now this doesn't control pitch whatsoever. Uh, what I have here is channel A goes to the high pitch VCO, channel B goes to a, a VCO a little bit lower, channel C to a VCO a little bit lower, and channel D to the lowest VCO. So each channel is controlling one pitched note. You can set it up like this, or you can also set it up to control drum sounds. That's a very common application. You can find that very often in any drum sequencer, 808-909. Uh, this does not have swing time, but you can hear it is very functional. As a reminder, there are no filters being used in this example. This is four VCOs going through four VCAs with the on and off of the VCA being controlled by the gate and pulses from this module. Move on to the next video and as we go out we'll get a little bit chaotic here and turn on more VCOs than I started with.